Okay, here we go. We are now on sloppy seconds. Did I spell that right? I didn't spell. I can't spell. God damn it. Seconds. Seconds. Jesus. Sloppy seconds. Number two. Today, we will be reviewing from Gold Belly again. Detroit style pizza companies, Detroit style pizza. This video would not have been possible, would not have been possible without a generous grant from the Helen No P. Thompson Foundation. And as always, with all sloppy second videos, even though there's only two of them, we are very, very careful about gimmick infringement. This is the idea of pizza reviews. It's Dave Portnoy's baby. This is just my take on it based on the fact that someone said, Shank, could you make some non fitness related videos? I said, well, there's only three things in my life I really love besides working out, and that is dogs, movies, and food. So we settled on this because it's fun. I love pizza. It's food. The dogs, unfortunately, aren't here this time, so I'm sorry. I know I'm as sad as you are. Just remember, in order to know our place, the rules are there are no rules. This is Thunder Road of pizza testing. I will eat as much of this sucker as I need to in order to give you an accurate judgment. What is the judgment? It is not a decimal system. It is not a number. I determine whether or not what I'm eating is worthy of shank nirvana, shank divine. Well, someone said to me last time, I said, shank, you can't go back to the 80s and start talking about Brandon Duke of Tree Lamar in the basement of Woodbridge, New Jersey while eating Roy Rogers fried chicken. It's too long ago. You can't recreate your childhood. I said, fine. I'll give you a moment from a couple years ago. I was hanging out with Frankie and Lily one time a couple years ago in Hopewell, New Jersey, pounding down a six-pack of Snickers ice cream bars, watching Roger Moore in the James Bond movie Octopus. Again, another divine moment. So can this pizza, the Detroit-style pizza company pizza from Gold Belly, I ordered on Gold Belly, they didn't make it, can it take the place of the Snickers ice cream bars at least, at least in, in, in I'm not going to look for it, can at least symbolically take the place. Nothing takes the place of Snickers Ice Cream Bars. We all know that. Snickers Ice Cream Bars are like Godfather 2 and Empire Strikes Back. They are the only sequel that in some ways surpassed the original. That's from a movie somewhere. I don't know what it is. And if you have time, then I just want to give some notes on my Lou Malnati experience. Because I think I may, after having this, have some more insight on that. So let's go check it out. Let me just show you a picture of the, the Detroit-style pizza company, Pizza. You see, it almost looks like more like a Sicilian type slice. Lots of cheese on here. It's got a bizarre smell to it. I'm not. I don't mean like a rotten smell. There's something going on here. It's a little different than regular pizza. I think supposedly there's like cheddar cheese on this or something with mozzarella. But we'll find out. Let's go taste it. As always, I have my trusty cup of of uh, diet sunkissed orange soda here. But let's try it out. So again, let's see how this goes. Detroit style pizza company. Detroit style pizza. I know I chew like a goddamn horse. I apologize. If you have a chewing fetish, I, I'd probably make you want to vomit. I'm sorry. Wow. Now, wow, wow, you got it, god damn, you won't believe this, oh shit, nothing can replace Snickers ice cream bars. But, we'll just call it DSP, Detroit style pizza from Gold Belly. It hits that moment. Crunchy as hell too, Jesus. And this whole Apparent mix of cheddar cheese in there, whatever it is, it actually accentuates the flavor of it. Now, 
Again. Wow. Can you hear that? Holy. Oh. As with any gold belly, it's going to be expensive. You're probably paying for the shipping more than anything else. But if you wanted something unique, if you wanted something different, this is definitely a different style of pizza. The cheese blend is different. But there's something about the crust. The crust on this is enormously light. Typically, a Sicilian slice of the same amount would probably feel, I would think, would weigh about three or four times as much. Again, I'm making that out of my ass. I know people love numbers. Uh, it's definitely a different style of meat. It's actually delicious. This is really good. Uh, yeah. All right. So if you're going to order something, you want something to talk about, you want a holiday gift, you want to send something to somebody, I like this because they put a ton of cheese on it, which we'll go into a later episode. One of my little weirdnesses about eating pizza is I like to have a lot of leftover cheese people put on a crust raft. Crust, crust raft? Crust raft? Yeah, raft. To take a trip down the river into Shank's mouth. That's one of my favorite things to do is take the extra cheese, wrap it around, I wrap it around the crust. And it creates this like little, little flavor boat. I don't know what. I'm going to end this video soon. I don't want to share this with you guys. Okay. If I thought this sucked, I would tell you. I've already given up the sponsorship money after my, my scorching Moon Ball Maddie's review. Which I'll give you a little more on in a second. But I gotta tell you what, this is actually worth it. This is not, I had someone say before, what we know it's gonna be, it's gonna be, well, it's okay, but it's not worth the price. I might argue to you, this might actually be worth, I'm not talking about doing this all the time. I'm not talking about making all the pizza pizzerias bankrupt. But if you were looking for like a pizza gift, something fun to send to somebody, I wouldn't send the Lou Malnati's part, but I'd definitely send this. Wow. Wow. If you like buttery, light crusts on your pizza, this does it as well as anyone I've ever had before. And I think the reason why is the style of the pizza. Again, Choice Saw Pizza Company from Gold Belly. Thanks to the hell of no P. Thompson Foundation. Look, whether the pizza was, was, was shitty or not, we're going to thank the foundation. I, I thank the Neil Kumar Foundation for allowing us the opportunity to try the Lou Malmati's frozen pizza. It's not about the foundation. They are, they are wonderful. But, but I got to tell you what, this, this, this is good. This definitely hits the category, whether it's Frankie Lilly or Brandon Dupuytree Lamar. Whether it's Hopewell or Rubens, New Jersey, whether it's Snickers ice cream bars or Roy Rogers fried chicken, whether it's Octopussy or Doom, it's good. No, it definitely makes the makes the grade. The little more on my notes. Here's what, real quick. I want to eat this. I don't want to be rambling on. I think what happened with Lou Malnati, and I'm going to say this, I feel like Lou Malnati's pizza on Gold Belly was a bit of false advertising. There's no way that that was going to be a deep dish pizza. That thing was about the size of a fruit tart. And while the pizza was very tasty, first of all, it wasn't as tasty as this. This actually tastes better. This has a noticeable, like, might have point system. This would definitely have, like, a, a point ahead in terms of flavor. But I think what really makes this now two points ahead of when we go down that system is the fact that this style of pizza is way more transferable to a shitty oven like the one I have than the Lou Malnati. Lou Malnati, I bet if you made a real deep dish pizza that was really thick, there's no way that oven gets hot enough, long enough, to be able to give you anything other than a burnt crust and a pool of oil. And so what they did is they kind of compromised with making this like medium dish pizza. And while it was tasty, it lost so many points. It lost so many, so much, so much of what I thought I was getting was lost. It really had the deck stacked against it in the first place. And now that I've had this, 
it definitely doesn't taste as good either. There's a noticeable difference between these two pies. If you ask me which one you want to order for someone, just for the fact that you can't really get that thick pizza that you're looking for anyway, I would vote against this. But the flavor on this is unbelievable. Again, it's that light, buttery, sweet crust, tons of cheese. I thought the sauce looked kind of effed up being on the top, but the sauce actually is pretty good. It doesn't taste like a regular sauce. It's got like a, a weird sweet tanginess to it, which normally I don't like. But this is making me happy right now. Again, I think this is a matter of you can't process this style of pizza in the frozen cross the country, heat up in your own crappy oven way. Like I said, I bet if you went to see Nacho at Alfonso's or Nino the Pizza Star, or you went to see um, uh, God, Antimo at Antimo's, I bet they could make a style of thicker pizza like that because they have the industrial strength ovens because it's around the block from your house. It just doesn't translate well. And again, everything with Gold Belly seems to be about price. Is it worth the price? You're paying an enormous amount of money for pizza, right? I think the three pizzas, they give you three of these, these uh, style pizzas, right? So close to like 90 something bucks. That's a lot of goddamn money in this day and age and inflation for, uh, for pizza. But as a gift, you know, it, it has a certain, it has a certain, it gives, gives a certain allowance. And, and this sucker, this definitely fits the bill. So if this was going to turn into like, it's a poo poo pan shank soggy diaper face pizza review. Like I was gonna hate everything I ate. No way. Definitely go belly and you knocked it out of the park on this one. And I'm like, oh, it's so good. Look at the pizza crust. Yeah, people act like they're having sex with this stuff. Stop it. All right, it's food. It's not the most important thing in the world, but this is really, really good. That is it. I'm gonna get rid of you guys. I'm gonna eat the rest of this and drink my diet sun kissed orange soda. And that's it for Sloppy Seconds number two. Detroit-style pizza company from Goldbelly. You guys knocked it out of the park. Beautiful.